this was the most relatable one I have read so far. Tracy, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you're about to tell today, I'm doing another book summary, kind of a book review. I'm not going to spoil a lot for you, but I'm gonna spoil a little bit. So, disclaimer: <laughs> today's book is going to be a Wonder by R.G. Palacio. I don't know if I read that right, but if it is wrong, correct me. No problem. This is the book that made me stay awake to just read this. Seriously, I'm not kidding at all. This book that made me not okay. I definitely when I started to read this book, I was like, bro, what is this book? What is this book? But as I continue, I can stop myself. So I was like you know what people need to know about this there's a lot of morals in this book not just that it is fun nice and it is even for kids for anyone especially like for anyone i just love this book so much like you guys can understand so without further ado let's get started this book starts with a boy named august pullman aka Oggy. he lived in new york with his father mother and his older sister, Olivia, aka Via. August was not an ordinary 10 year old kid. He used to do everything that a kid would do. He would ride his bike, he would play soccer and do everything. But what was different for him was his face. He was born with facial deformity. So he was deformed, facially deformed. It wasn't because of an accident. He was just born like that. He had 27 surgeries. Imagine, he's like 10 years old and had 27 surgeries to just fix his face. And that is what didn't make him go to school. He was homeschooled by his mother because like when he, when he went to get surgery, August had to take like weeks and weeks of recovery. He did 27 of them. So you get it, he was homeschooled. That why he was shocked learning that the fact learning that his mother enrolled him into a school. August was mad. I literally would be mad too if I was August. He was mad at his mother and his father for enrolling him into the school. August was really really mad. So the day of the school tour came. Before the school year started, August had to first ha has had to first get a school tour. And he had a school tour with these three kids. Julian, Jack, and Charlotte. They were ordered by Mr. Tashman, the principal of the school he was going to, called Peter Prep. It was a middle school. He was going in fifth grade. Anyways, as he was getting the tour, there was this kid named Julian who wouldn't stop bothering him, asking him questions like, what is up with the face? How did you get that face? Is that going to stay on? And everything and everything. Meanwhile, Jack and Charlotte were actually kind to him and understanding even though at first when they all saw August, they were kind of shocked, as usual. I had an older sister called Via. Via was going into high school as August was going into school. I really understand Via wanting to separate like a home life with her school life. She was getting, she was having a really hard time into adjusting with her high school life because her two best friends, Miranda and Ella, were kind of immediately fitting in while her, she was like, she was backed up. She was forced to make a new friend group that would understand her since Miranda and Ella chose the popular kid group to hang out. So she was forced to make a new friend group. And of course, I get the need of her not wanting everyone to know that he, she had a brother who was facially deformed and not to be mean or anything she actually felt bad all right so a play was coming up at her school with her boyfriend named justin olivia was an understudy which means like she would take a role of someone who is sick who didn't play in the show anyways she didn't want her family to come and see the show since she was scared she didn't want her new high school friends to know that she had a brother who was specially deformed and i totally get her all right 
this is Jack. So Jack was basically Jack and became friends all through the year. But that friendship broke. How? It was on Halloween. So Halloween, like where people dress up. And this was this was August's favorite part of the year because they got to dress up and no one would literally care. Normally when August worked through school, his head was down. He didn't want anyone to see his face even though when people look at him they kind of like get scared so he liked halloween halloween because he got to dress up august really loved star wars he wanted to dress up as a star wars character and everyone in his class in his homeroom knew that so when they were going to school august kind of changed the plan he actually went for another costume which was not from a star wars character and when he reached to school, he found Julian, the bully, with all the other two mummies and one, two mummies and a, a lot of other kids. He went and sat to the table next to them, and he heard someone bad mouthing them. So uh, August was there listening to how people were talking behind his back, mainly of course. And when he actually realizes whose voice it was, he was definitely shocked. Guess what? It was Jack's voice. His friend, they used to hang out every single time. What had happened? August was devastated of the news that he didn't want to go to school. Alright, so August had a friend named Summer who they used to eat lunch together. Summer wasn't ordered by Mr. Tashman to like stay with Oggy, so they kind of became friends like that. And everyone used to ask Summer, like, Summer, why are you friends with Oggy? But Summer just shrugged and she was like, mm, he's nice, funny, clever. Mm. So, literally, when they went, uh, and that's it. So, Jack's part. Jack, when Jack. As it kept going on, Jack kept realizing that August was a really fun person to hang out with. He was clever, he was smart, he was funny, he kind of like that fun best friend that he would have. And then when Jack started realizing that August was mad at him, he was like, what is happening? So Summer came and told Jack, and told Jack, I gave Jack a hint about the costume. So one day in science class, Jack was sitting there, um, trying to like, trying to think about why August was mad at him. Then it suddenly bumped into his head. The the costume that he that August had dressed up for um, Halloween, he suddenly realized that it was August. He was like, oh, "What did I do?" He bowed, muttered him. Honestly, Jack didn't know why he did that. He just didn't want like to be known as someone who is friends with Oggy. So he just bombarded him, which he really didn't mean to, but he did. Because Julian was one of the popular kids, so he didn't want to like, you know, get sweated in those the, in the darky side, you know. So he bombarded him and then Jack suddenly realized that and he was mad. Alright, so here's the fight. So um Jack and Julian, they were kind of friends. And when they assigned Jack and August in a science group, like project, where that, at that time they were ex-friends, as it is said in the, in the book. Julian was like, uh, Miss, uh, can me and Jack work together? But Jack was like, no thank you, I'm going to stay with Oggy. And then Julian comes and was like, Jack, why did you say you want to stay with Oggy? And then, and then, and then Jack was like, I don't know. And then Julian was like, you, wanna, you are a freak too? And that is when Jack lost it and punched Julian in the face. That was literally like I don't know. I kind of felt like the need of punching Julian because he had been really, really, really mean to August. And that is when the kind of the friendship of Julian and Jack broke. So at that time, Summer had went to uh to the Halloween party I think that her friend organized and. Uh, Guess what? Julian told everyone to do not become friends with Jack because of what happened. And everyone believed him. So a girl named Charlotte came to Jack and told him everything that happened. 
and so Jack couldn't care less as long as he went he apologized to Augie and they became best friends so from that day on Jack was taken as the freak because he used to hang out with Augie Summer Hart didn't have any problem with her but Jack and Summer used to be the two best friends of who? Augie but everyone was inside, including Charlotte. Charlotte also you know, used to be like one of those kids who would be scared and scared to have the cheese touch. Like people thought that August had the cheese touch when they come to touching. Charlotte was really nice too. Augie, okay, as usual. So, Charlotte was really kind and nice to Augie, okay, as usual. So when the time came, um, they kept going to each other. Olivia started at that time. The saddest part came. Daisy, their family dog, died. Like I read this part, I was like, like uh, that broke my heart. Like Daisy didn't care like how August looked. He, Daisy just loved like the way August looked, and like he, he, she had no problem with it so it kind of broke my heart when daisy died and it broke olivia's august isabel the mother and made the father's hurt and it kind of broke mine too yeah and yeah but still they got a new puppy which they named bear but no one could ever like replace daisy it was just the kind the gift that they gave him and that is where the scene of the fight came so they had went to a, how can I call it, a camp, a school camp or something. They had went on a school camp and then like they were in the woods and then they found this seventh graders kid from another school. When they saw August's face, they were, they were shocked. And this kid, this kid named Eddie started bullying him was like, whoa, are you a freak too? What happened to your face? What is that? They started bullying him. And Jack was like, dude, what's your problem? And they started. But guess who came? Amos, Henry, and Miles, they used to be on the part of Julian, like hating, you know, hating Jack. They came and defended Oggy. That was the awesome part of the book. I loved it. The three defended Oggy and they fight the seventh grade kid until they ran at everyone was like how oh, he was like sad everyone was like running it was like a scene fight okay so everyone was like running around blood running around fighting 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 and what i really loved about it is that here is when all this all uh, here is one like one of the one of the lessons in this book came on which was like kindness and courage where the kids came and defended Oggy which was kind of awesome and Jack personally was the best who defended Oggy the right moment and the first one so I loved it and that was the part and came the award part and here is when all like when I say all I mean all the lessons of the book gathered around and uh, I honestly love Mr. Tashman's speech. This speech like got me thinking because like it's really true. And guess what? August won the price of being the kid. Wait, I have to read this again. Henry Ward picture meadow to the student whose quiet strength has carried up the most hearts went to august pullman of course like his quietness like he was not one of those kids who wanted attention even though he wanted people to not be afraid of him he still was himself he didn't change anything or like be someone else or like try to do something bad or like trying to be one of the cool kids and yeah and turns out everyone turned their back like julian was left with no friend and he had to change schools which is really great that i'm really afraid that when he goes to another school he's going to bully and everything but that is the end of the book and the book ended there and it ended by a family work a family walk home where they were going to celebrate with charlotte with summer and jack the and the parents of course and Miranda, the best friend of Olivia, and yeah, and everything. That is just it. And um, 
August thank his mother th and August thank thank his mother for bringing him to school since he learned a lot of things. He learned kindness, courage, strength, friendship. He learned a lot of things. So he actually thanked his mother and his mother ended by saying you are a wonder which is the title. Okay, so this book has been the best book I've ever read. Has been like a book which I read and actually got something because don't get me wrong all the books that I read I got something this was the most relatable one I have read so far like I actually love it and I want to reset it Th this book made me stay out I can't believe I really love it and I would recommend it where you read it online where you go get it and plus don't forget to go get this book at Kigali Public Library it is found in Kachiru here in Rwanda this is where I actually got it so thank you so so much Kigali Public Library for actually having this book as well. that is going to be the end of today's video I hope you guys learned something from Nate Pullman the father Isabel Pullman the mother Olivia Pullman the sister the big sister and August Pullman the <laughs> the main character of this book i really love this book you guys like you guys can understand like this book is literally like the best and i love it thank you guys for listening to this summary and like it's really benefits you i hope you guys like this i hope you guys like this video don't forget to give a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel turn the little notification comment and share i will see you with another video i love you guys bye Mwah.